Are you signed like a major label right now? Uh, GIF and Interscope. Yeah. Do, I've, d does when you work with labels, don't they want certain things from you? They want you to to like be a certain way, or, or is there certain like like? Not hell, not because when they found me, I was already doing it. You know what I'm saying? So like I had leverage, and like they wouldn't, they don't give a fuck about the creativity side because they know I got that under control. Why not stay independent? You know, like people like Russ. Yeah, I'm uh uh just because just to see, I'm just curious. You know what I'm saying? I'm so new to everything, you know, and uh just just living and learning, you know what I'm saying? The 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 label, there you go. The label is cool. I definitely like it. It's a cheat code. You got a lot of people that you get to meet, uh, you know, and it's cool. But as man, you know, being independent in a different ball game is nice. Yeah. I'm excited to, you know what I'm saying, have my wings fully spread and just be where I wanna be. But so, but you're not fully independent now. No. no. Okay. So you prefer you prefer being signed to a label. No. Mm -hmm. Then so then why'd you sign? Like I said, just curious, just, just figuring curious. out, just figuring out new how, things, seeing how it could help me and how it couldn't. Is it a long deal? No. Nah. Yeah. yeah. I'm just always curious about that because I feel like nowadays, just the way the internet is all set up, like because you have so much power in the space as like not just a rapper but as a creator and like showing up on podcasts or. I know I saw you did the Schultz thing. Like you have so much more that you can go and just kind of make happen. Mm -hmm. I always wonder why do people still go and sign with labels? I'm not, this is, I'm not at all trying to on labels because yeah, they probably nah. do a ton for you behind the scenes as yeah, well. Yeah, correct. They do. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they, like I said, they, they help a lot. Like, uh, I don't have to worry about it except for the creative side. They do yeah. all of my social media posting. They handle my, my, uh, my, what's it called? Like my media, like they keep me up to date with posting okay. news. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My bookings, everything. They literally do everything. So I ain't got to worry about nothing except for being there on time and executing correctly. And there's never anything that they never try to get you to do things you don't want to do. Or if you do, you have some, assuming you have say in it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I yeah. Do. Like they'll bring ideas up. And if I'm like, no, nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah. But they, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, like I said, I got my boy B done. I got my boy Fee. Yeah. And Greg. And like they bring the ideas to them. And like they already know me very well toward where like if it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying, or not not necessarily, bullshit, but just something that's not needed or a necessity to do or something yeah. like that. Then you know he's not gonna do it. But like they're not gonna they're not gonna bring no bullshit in my front door. They gonna yeah, make I sure, get you. You know what I'm saying? I get you. Yeah, they're gonna make sure everything is correct for me. Is there is there any artist that like you'd really love to collab with or make a song with? Uh, like who would be like number one on that list? I feel like if I was an artist, I'm saying Drake. Why? Because uh, he's the, he's, Cause he's that, number one. Because he's been doing it for so long, and he's number one. Yeah, Man, I want I want somebody that's gonna. And he showed his dick off. It's like kind of funny. I want somebody. That funny. I want somebody that's gonna match with me. Like I want somebody who's gonna make a good song with me. I don't give a f about your name. I do music with the, I do music with people that are f nobodies and yeah. they killing people that are that are known. Yeah, I respect that. I respect the f out of that. I don't give a f about this extra. Sh I don't give a f if you even like my music, homeboy. I do this because I love it and what I want to do with my people. I love it. Have you always been that? Always. Always. What the f I don't know what else to do, bro. Like, this music. I remember being a kid telling my dad, like, I don't want to rap no more. Because everybody wanted to rap. Is that true? Okay. And he'd be like, shut the f up and get on this beat. Yo, it's crazy. I met his dad. Your, your dad, his, his dad, by the way, sitting off camera. Your dad looks like he's like 30 years old. And he's yeah. like, well, how old are you? Like 50 something? No, 49. 49. Yeah, dude, like, you're going to age fucking tremendously. You think you can beat him in a street fight? He well, he came. First thing he said to me was like, "Yo, I trained this, this, and this." I was like, uh, "He's thick too." Yeah, he's like, you could tell he's. It's strong. all agility too. It's not just. I was looks. gonna ask you who wins in the street fight, me or you, bro. I, hey, because you brought that up, I had to. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, if if I don't knock you out within like the first minute, you better hope I'm not standing next to him. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Now I respect it. It's yeah. good. It's good. Yeah. Um. Okay, so there's no one that you're like you really want to be number one, like with like a song. Um, I get you know what I mean. Uh, Taylor Swift. Nah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan. I mean, uh, Taylor Swift. Nah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan for sure. Damn, I gotta go with Stevie. We'll do Stevie. That would be f hard. That'd be sick. Wow. That'd be sick. I like the way you think. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he a Texas boy. He out there in Austin. Damn. So, so you think you have more influence in your music from Texas? Obviously, you're from there, or like LA. Nah, hell no, nah, definitely not LA. I love, I love LA's music. I appreciate the culture, and I appreciate how they sound. They've definitely 
had an, a, a huge impact in the music career, but I was more fond with the East Coast. I was like Biggie, I mean not Biggie, uh, Big L, Bust Around, and Fifty Cent were like the pioneers of who I am. Best Fifty Cent song. Uh, the whole the whole get rich or die trying. Yeah, crazy. Even even his old shit, though, like when he wasn't even yeah. known, like the what's that the the fuck the NYPD or what's that one? Did you that be jamming? Yeah, nobody likes me. Who? That's Bro. like that's like before he even had the the video game. You know, like yeah, that's before he was shot. That whole album was nuts, though. Of course, but you also got to understand, I was in love with the movie, and I was also playing the video game Bulletproof at that time. So yeah. like, I was. I was all of it. Hustlers is ambition is probably my favorite song off the, huh? I had the G on the shoes. I had the pants. I had the muscle <laughs> shirts, the hats. You know what I'm saying? Have had, you met 50 I had yet? posters of them. Nah. You got to meet him. Yeah. It'd be a good moment. I went to one of his shows, me, Bobby Schmurda, and uh, a few of my buddies. We was over there. And yeah. we were with his show. Yeah. You, do, you ever, do you ever wonder, like, and I, this, this is definitely not a knock to you at all, but, like, music now, like, especially mainstream music, is just kind of, like, forced. Everything feels forced for, like, some TikTok song. You know, like everyone wants a song that goes viral on TikTok and not right. just like some shit that they really care about. Right. Do, do you see that? Do you notice that? Yeah, correct. I I, I can, I, I mean, kind of, you know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, when you say force, that how I'm taking it is like they're they're creating these superstars. Like I've met some rappers before and I'm like, oh yeah, I could tell the label made you. Does that make sense? Like me, man. Well, that's when I, they talk I, about like a plant, right? Yeah, like me, I'm a full-on personality. Like, I'm Virgil at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I'm from Bay City, Texas, from the left country all town, southeast of Texas, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I just be me. Like, it's really you. Yeah, yeah correct. So, yeah. like, that, so that is so strong that it plays with music to my interactions with other people. Like, they just feel that shit. So, like, I don't think I'm forced. I, th I, think, I think, yeah, you can see it when it's forced. Or at least what about I can because I know how real it, my is. You're talking about just because of an interaction with a person, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, this person, like, they they were kind of put here and put, mm -hmm. like, pushed to this place. Yeah, because some of these motherfuckers be like, like, you could tell, like, like you could tell when a motherfucker look like they're not supposed to be there. Does that make sense? In, in, in like, a, in a social setting? And, like, anywhere, like a rapper, like a rapper at the label, I see him and, like, it's like, you just tell, like, man, you don't rap. Like, you just started this a year ago, maybe. Yeah. I guess I was kind of more so speaking to just even mainstream artists now who are already successful, the music they make just to try to get like a viral song on TikTok and not like a good song. Like the content of it. I feel like a lot of music oh, is missing the content oh, of it. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like like the actual heart of the music. Like when you when you sing about things, it's like you actually experience instead of just singing about things that you think people, oh. you know, like when people talk about the whole like, Future talked about all this drugs, but he didn't actually do the drugs, but it was cool to rap about the drugs. Yeah, yeah, I completely see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they just push that sort of like talk about some it's not genuine to you because we know kids want to hear it. Yeah. And then I they see, go I for can, that. Yeah, I completely see what you're saying now. What's your yeah, perspective? I heard, I heard Russ talking about that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree because like you know, back to what I was saying, like they're not that. Yeah. It's not you. This it's but that's it's kind of sad. Yeah. You know, because then you just make music because it's like we know that that someone's gonna think this obviously we want to make music that we think people think is cool. But at the same time, like, well, are we making something that's just disgenuine of us yeah, just because, like, just we want some money? Down. Yeah. I just find that, that's what I, in the music industry now, I'm like, that's why, like, you talk about, like, 50s, that whole track, that whole album, you're like, this is incredible. I think yeah. he's really rapping about what he actually sort of went through. Yeah. Like, and you could feel it because, like, it's, right. it's all in here. Like, you could feel it from how he's saying it. 